uh, everyone here and joining us remotely. Uh, it's a pleasure to have a chance to witness the signing of the tripartite MOU this afternoon. The United States and Sri Lanka do share a vision of prosperity, and this is one of the ways that we can help achieve that and uh, do so together. The U.S. is the single largest export destination for Sri Lankan products. It accounts for almost $3 billion or om a year, almost one quarter of Sri Lanka's annual exports. From apparel to rubber, gemstones to tea and spices, the relationship is mutually beneficial. But we also know the relationship could grow and become more complex. And so for exports to drive growth, we know that small and medium enterprises need to become export-ready competitors. As the regional points of contact for small and medium enterprises, the Export Development Board's development officers already know that small businesses have an outside impact, outsized impact on economies. And as such, of course, they are uniquely situated to help realize this vision. So today, through this tripartite letter of cooperation, uh, we launched the training of the 300 development officers. It will improve their knowledge of trade procedures, expert processes, and modes of market access. Using this knowledge, these officers will help small and medium enterprises become competitive players in international markets and hopefully boost the talents of entrepreneurs <laughs> island-wide. They're going to coach Sri Lankan businesses, especially SMEs outside of Colombo, to develop and achieve export goals. They'll connect them with export opportunities and they'll help local businesses go global through better understanding of and compliance with trade regulations in Sri Lanka and abroad. These development officers represent all Sri Lankan districts and ethnicities, and around 70% of the development officers in this program are women, which I hope will benefit women-led enterprises throughout the country. This initiative is a vital step toward linking businesses with buyers, increasing <coughs> exports and incomes, and facilitating private sector-led growth. And I think in these, this most challenging time, uh, as the, the world still struggles in the era of pandemic, Focusing on some of the economic foundation that is going to lead to recovery is going to be crucial. Exports are going to play a very important role in that. So the United States is very proud to invest in this initiative, and I wish success for the program. Thank you. Breaking Dr. King.